Oh, good afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and um, up in the cabin for a couple of hours while the kids, once again, the grandkids are smashing the house up. Uh, I've had a bit of a delivery uh, yesterday, and I'll go through it in a second, but I'll just shout out uh, to one of my subscribers, Richard, who very so kindly sent me a little pack of the foundry heads for my renaissance project these that can go with the sorry not foundry um peri heads so they go with the plastic pikemen uh, which are very useful so thank you for that richard uh, very much appreciate it uh what i did a couple of days after christmas uh, a couple of days after christmas i noticed that wargames foundry had their christmas sale going and i do like Wargames Foundry figures, I find them quite expensive, uh, so I always look out for the sales, or if I can, buy them at the shows. Um, I think a regular pack of three cavalry are now £15, which is quite pricey. I do remember back in the old military modelling of uh, Terry Wise, I've always remember this, Terry Wise once said, 325mm cavalry for a pound. Um, and he was surprised at that, but uh, I think he'd be more surprised nowadays. I know it's all relevant, but um, it does seem that metal figures are getting more and more expensive, and that's why the bulk of the um, pike I'm doing at the moment are in plastic. But I'm a big fan of metal. I prefer metal figures, so I mean, I know it's uh, each to their own. I'll we'll quickly look through and see what I bought. So first of all, ah, oh, these are the a pack of hand gunners. I mean, these figures have been out for many years, and. Um, Absolutely lovely figures. And what I do like about foundry figures are the facial details. Um, I've, I'm a big fan of their ACW figures, and these are um, just as good. I must say, I remember these coming out probably in the early 90s, was, was it? And um, foundry seemed to release a, a range every, it seemed to be every month. What I did do was concentrate in this order on the mounted gendarmes. So I've got 24 mounted and they um, will be in units of 12 for pike and shot. And these come with soft, oh that's not very good is it, Look, that lance there has got a bit of a, bit of a nasty seam line. Um, and with the, well concerning the lances, they are the dreaded spiral paint jobs aren't they? I did read recently that the spiral lances were more for tournaments, but I do think if I went down that path, there's a bit of a cop out and I'd uh, be treated with howls of derision. I've had a quick look through the, the horses and very nice they are. Um, oh, this is the command pack, I think. The horses only seem to be in a couple of poses, or maybe three, um, which is a bit limiting, but I think once they're, they're all painted up in different colours, they should be okay. Him there. Well, funny enough, I'm painting up a uh, the steel fist guy at the moment. I'll just give him a, a wash there. So size-wise... 
Not too bad. Fantastic plumage. Look at that. So I won't go through all those packs, but um, separate arm. So I think it was um, 24, 24 cavalry, three cannon, which I'll show you in a sec, uh, some foot command, mounted command, and some extra pike. Uh, let's have two of them out, first of all. I won't show you all the cavalry, I'll say they all. Um, much of a stainless. Now these come with the pipe come with brass wire and what I wanted these for is for my command stands. Look in there look. Little banky trousers. These will be standard bearers. Size wise, I'm just painting up some skirmishes or basing some skirmishes. Uh, that'd be about there. And that's the Warlord Plastics. Not too bad. Right. Let's go there. Let's have a look at one of the guns. Oh, that's another command set. I just put this guy out. I've seen this guy painted up so many times. Was it Kevin Dallimore did a very nice green and red one? Was it Kevin Dallimore or Steve Dean? I can't remember now. Um, in one of the adverts. Lovely stuff. So potential wise for the um, command stands looking very good. Right, one of the guns. Come with four crew. Size of that. And just a crew member. You can see the size of that gun. Quite weighty. I think that was sixteen pounds before the sale. Uh, I can't remember how much I got off. I think it's, it worked out about £45 I got off. Um, which is not to be sniffed at this day and age. That's another gun. Carriage is a bit more fancy this time. An example of the Gun crew, I'll probably all mix, mix and match the gun crew. Um, very good. I think I might have bought enough now to be getting on with what I've got in stock. Um, what else we got? There's more. Was oh, that the. This might be the. figures. Trouble is though, I've said to you before, I just haven't got, I don't seem to have the time. Um, when I first started this channel, I was on a slightly different shift. Um, single or not married. And um, yeah, all of a sudden I seem to run out of time. Or oh, the opportunity, look at him, look. Now I see everybody's getting excited about GW releasing some of their 
new range for Warhammer Fantasy. And these will do quite well. Right, possibly sacrilege saying that. What's he doing there? Got a hammer and. I don't know what he's doing. Is he smoothing over a cannonball? Alright, that'll keep me going. So once I've painted up these command two command figures from Steel Fist, which I'll just put so I've just put the black wash on them. Uh, I paint blocked in the base colours. Um, Once that's dry, I'll start highlighting. So once that's done, and the skirmishes are based, or finished basing the skirmishes, that's the division, um, the first division for Pike and Shop finished. Um, so do I, do I go cavalry or another pipe block? Because I've got, I say, I've built up a bit of a mo momentum now. But I think I've got four, four, well, I've got 48 gendarmes to paint up and 12 mounted crossbow, so I really need to get on with the cavalry. Yes, right, I'll decide this afternoon, that's what I'll do. Anyway, thanks for watching.